This is hydrogen tap one. Where we're testing now is a two plate system in plain tap water. As you can see, it's running at 1.44 amps. And what we're going to do in a minute is put lye in the water to see the difference. The plates are stainless steel separated by a con non conductive washer, and those are plastic screws. As you can see, the voltage is 12.2 at 144. That's 1 amp point four four. There's no electrolyte or in this water. You can see the amount of hydrogen that's being produced. Just a moment, what we'll do is put lie in the water. As you can see, that's the amount we're going to put in there. It takes very little. And don't forget, there's only two plates in this system here. Also, the water is not at the temperature that it should be. It should be hotter. The hotter the water, the more conductivity. I'll show you the temperature here. So we have, we can change the conductivity by putting an electrolyte such as this lye or the salt in the water, or by moving the plates closer together. The closer the plates are together, the more conductivity between the plates, the more hydrogen is produced. We'll plug the battery in now. And you can see an immediate difference, the amount of hydrogen that's coming up. We were at about one amp. And now, by putting lye in the water, or an electrolyte, we're at 5.76. We're using the same battery, and we're not using a charger on this system. Remember, these plates are stainless steel, separated by non-conductive washers. The more plates we have in here, the more hydrogen we'll produce. Also, the thicker the plates, the more hydrogen we produce. As you can see, we're at 573 amps. We'll turn it off to show you how quickly the hydrogen dissipates and how clear the water is. By using electrolytes in the water, you get much more conductivity, which gives us more hydrogen. Remember, we're producing hydrogen and oxygen at the same time. You can see the batteries back up to 1218. Batteries recover after you use them. So you can see a reading lower after you open the circuit, if you wait about 30 minutes, you'll notice the battery recharges itself to a degree. Replug the system together. Again, this is using lye as an electrolyte. And you can see, once again, we're at 575 amps. And we're pulling the battery down to 11.77 volts.
you can see in my lab, I've got considerable amount of battery power back there. We're only using one of those batteries. Again, we've opened the circuit. And you can see the clarity of the water. In just a moment, we'll pull the plates out so you can see how they look. These are stainless steel plates. And you can see the way the plates are constructed here. If you look closely, you'll see the thin washer in between. <clears throat> 